Why can we hear from Voyager 1, but not get Wi-Fi across the house? It all comes down to radio waves, invisible light bouncing around at frequencies our eyes can't see. Voyager 1 is over 15 billion miles away, and it still sends us data. Meanwhile, your phone drops signal walking into the next room. Why? Because Wi-Fi and cell signals use high-frequency radio waves. Wi-Fi runs at 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, and cell towers use bands from 700 megahertz to 3.5 gigahertz. These higher frequencies can carry a lot of data, but they don't travel well through obstacles. Walls, floors, trees and people block, scatter or absorb those signals. Voyager 1, on the other hand, transmits at 8.4 GHz for uplink and 2.3 GHz for downlink using NASA's Deep Space Network. That might sound high, but here's the key difference. Voyager's signal travels through the vacuum of space, no walls, no interference, no clutter. While its signal is faint, we're listening with antennas the size of buildings, using ultra-sensitive equipment. NASA doesn't just hear the signal. They have to decode it over hours, removing noise, pulling out the science buried in the static. So yes, your Wi-Fi dies in the kitchen because radio waves are fragile in cluttered environments. In Voyager 1's case, though, it's got a clean shot through space. Follow for more Space Science Explainers. If you'd like to support the content, check the links in my profile.